Hello, hello, hello. Hansi Aisinawa, welcome to a windy day with Niheo Golf at uh, Gilwood Golf and Country Club in Slave Lake. Uh, today we're going to do something different and something that I wanted to do for a while since I've seen it on uh, Rick Shields' video. I'm going to be doing a review and I'm going to be doing a review on these uh, Polera 75% self-correcting golf ball. So whether you hook the ball or slice the ball, it's supposed to promote a straighter flight. So I'm just going to do the gauntlet here is what they call it at Gilwood or Killwood in this case is a holes 5, 6, and 7 which is a par 4 dog leg left and a par 3 downhill and then a par 5 that has a water in play on your tee shot and your approach shot. So I'm going to do a comparison. So I'm going to be playing uh, the RBZ. So this is the ball I usually play. Well, I've been playing for the last month or so. Taylor made RBZ, it's like five years old, and you can get them for like 20 bucks a box right now. Against the Polera. So I'll shoot my RBC first, and then I'll, I'll play off that, and then I'll shoot the Polera, and I'll play off that. So I'll play two balls, and we'll see which one comes out on top. As you guys could notice, it's hella, hella windy here. So here's RBZ. Boy, that's going to be tough to beat, I think. And here's the Polera. I hit that pretty straight, so if this goes straighter, I'll be impressed. <laughs> well, you know, I duffed that, but it went straight. Okay, so this is Polera on the fairway. Kind of duffed it. And up there is my RBZ. Okay, Polera, first tee shot on the fairway. So far so good for Polera. Oh, and you're supposed to line this up every time. I'll pull that just short of the bunker. RBZ, this is a gap wedge. Aiming for the center of the fairway. Ah, fairway. The green. I pulled that Polera, but I was short anyway, so. I think that's bang on. Oh. <laughs> birdie. Talk birdie to me. Okay, you guys. Here's my Polera second shot. So this is what I was meaning about. You have to, uh, before you shoot it, you have to line it up to uh, where you want it to go. Just a little hop over the bunker and... It have been closer, but that's nice. This is RBZ for bird. We'll try and make it. Well, you should... Should always try to make it. <laughs> this thing on. Oh. Okay, Polera. So this is what I was kind of interested to see how to perform on the putting surface. So we'll line it up. This is Polera for par. Oh. Just a little bit more breakage and that would have been good. After the first hole, uh, RBZ, the ball I usually play, got a par. And Polera got a bogey. I can't stress how windy it is today. I wag you uh, wind is right to left. We'll aim center to green and hope we could push to the flag. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Oh, that should be on there. 
Okay, so Polera. I don't know if you guys notice or can see this. Look at, there's like a square here and a square here. Shoot it straight. So, okay, here's a RBZ. Green and regulation. I'll fix that divot later. I missed the green left and long. Maybe I got a good bounce, but this is where we are. Make sure to line up. <laughs> that was not good at all. Best I could do. I'll still put out the Polera here, even though I'm gonna. It's gonna lose to the RBZ on this hole too. Hopefully, no, no more than two putts here for me with the RBZ. I don't know. I think it's it's kind of looking like a gimmick. So far, not so good for Mr. Polaris. Too hard. Oh. Oh no! So this for a bogey? It's pretty much straight. It'll break right a little bit. So left edge. Nice one. Hopefully I didn't waste my par bid there. <laughs> oh no! Same thing. Left edge. Oh yeah, well, RBZ's up again. You know, one thing I'll say though is uh, that Polera feels pretty good coming off the putter face though. The one thing I wanted to mention here was the, this is the RBZ. And it feels like a golf ball, obviously, like well balanced compared to the Polera. Um, remember when I was saying earlier that there's like a square here and a square here and it like makes you line up like this. It like, I don't know if it's just me, but it, I, it feels like I could feel weights on either side. Maybe that's how it uh, fixes your flight or something. I don't know. Something to consider. Okay, big dog time. So it's uh, 255, 260 to carry the water here. Normally I hit a five iron or a five wood or three wood or whatever. Take the water out, but we got to test the driver. So I'm going to take an aggressive line here, this tree line, and just hopefully get over it. Clear the water. RBZ's first. <laughs> that cleared the water. All right, so same line with the Polaris dealership. Oh, a tree just fell over there. Well, that's not good, eh? It went straight, straight into the water. Okay guys, so point of entry is somewhere here. I just pulled it back a little bit so it could be on the fairway. This is just a five iron. Not looking good for Polera again though. All that good. Got a little bit of branches here, but I don't think I'll hit them. Wind's with me, so this is a six iron. Try to get on in two. I think I'm on the green. 90 yards. 
80 yards. So this is just a 60 degree. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, we're on the green. Uh, about five feet away. Can you see it? Maybe six feet. All right, so Polaris is on the left. RBZ is on the right. I'll play the RBZ first. And this is a really big deal for me, this whole RBZ. This is like the first time I'm on in two on this hole in like in years. As I said before, normally I play like a five iron and I just accept to get on in three. Maybe I should be more aggressive here. On the five feet downhill with the RBZ for Eagle. This is like a little bit of pressure too because I've never made an Eagle on the channel yet. So this will be nice if this drops. Oh, I'll get there. <laughs> Thank you. You know, this Polera ball, it does go straighter from what I've seen, but I, I don't know. It has a, it has a really weird uh, ball flight. The only way I can describe it. It does feel good on the putting green though. Yeah, like, what is that? A par for Polera? Polera was a uh, one splash. So drop three, four, five. Yeah, so that's Polera's par. And it parred the last of the three holes. Okay, so final verdict on the Polera. It's a two piece construction golf ball. And it says 75% self correcting. If you guys could see that. You know, if, if you think you can improve your game, if you're struggling really bad with hooks or slices, you know, maybe it's the ball for you. Just be warned that it does have a weird ball flight, but it does feel like really, really good on the putting surface. Maybe that's because of the weights on either side of the ball. Um, here's my RBZ. Did good for me. And the Polera, like, I want to say it was, it did okay, like, against the RBZ today in the three-hole match, it was a two over. So, and then my RBZ was two under. So that's a four shot difference between a premium golf ball. Not that RBZ is top of the line right now, it's like five years old, but it's still a pretty decent golf ball. And this Polera is, you know, it does go straight. I'll leave a link in the description where, where I got these. I just got them off, off of their uh, website online and just wait for them to ship. can't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but it does definitely fly straighter, but maybe you do lose yardage. I don't know, on that part three, maybe I just hit a flyer, I'm not sure. But yeah, thank you, thanks for watching. And um, for me personally, I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever play this ball again. I'll probably just hit into the bush or something. But yeah, thanks for watching you guys. Hi hi. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you like the video. Got a couple of months left here in the season in Alberta. So maybe there'll be a couple more videos and yeah. Simaga. <laughs>